getting my cartilage pierced. It's supposed to take a year to heal. Right there, right there. I have to be really careful with my mask. Oh boy, is this gonna hurt? Um, it might. I was gonna believe that I felt pain with this thing because I can't, I have no feeling in my ear apparently. No, I can like feel that it hurts. I just don't know like where I'm at. This is my piercing pillow. This is how I'm gonna sleep on my left side for the next year of my life. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel with Love Savannah. I'm Savannah and today we are doing a video that I'm so excited for that was actually requested by one of you. I'm doing an update video as it's been exactly four months since I got my cartilage slash helix pierced. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know. This is the video that I would have wanted when I was getting mine done. Like all of the questions that I had personally, I'm going to answer plus all of the questions that I got from all of you. So stay tuned for that. But before we jump into it, I just want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Ana Luisa creates high quality jewelry at very affordable prices. So it goes along perfectly with this video. I'm currently wearing the Ana Luisa toe dot earrings right now. And then this beautiful crisscross ring which I absolutely love because I bought a ring like this in Paris when I was studying abroad in college and I lost it in a hotel. So I was really, really excited to replace it with this. I initially found Ana Luisa when I was looking for a pair of earrings to wear in my friend's wedding as a bridesmaid. And I found these little gems that you probably see me wearing in almost every video, every Instagram post, because I wear these very, very often. I wear them so much that my mom was like, I have to have those, they're so cute, what are they? So I ended up surprising her and getting them for her for Christmas last year and she loves them as well. So Ana Luisa is carbon neutral in their packaging and their products, which is awesome for the environment. They also have a little selection of ethically sourced diamonds. On my wish list right now is their little diamond necklace. It is so pretty, like definitely on my wish list. Like I really want it but they're sustainable, great for the environment. They're also the perfect brand if you're into like the layering matching look. So again, like everything matches so perfectly. They have all kinds of like beautiful necklaces you can layer and pair, bracelets, rings, but then also like seriously along with this video, if you have like your second or third hole pierced, I am like so jealous because you can do this. I've been wanting Huggy Hoops forever. They were actually on my Christmas list and I just didn't get them. But like these ones, for example, they have like these little beautiful like rhinestones on them. So I could do like these and then this like up from there or these huggy hoops, which are so pretty as well. You could layer or they have these in like a slightly bigger size. So you could put these in your first hole, these in your second hole, like so many awesome options, but they are having a March Madness sale right now. So the whole entire site is 20% off. So they're very affordable in the first place, let alone that sale. So check out the description box below. I have a link where you can go and shop. Just look around, see if there's anything you like. With that being said, let's get into the video. So as a very quick recap, I got my first piercing done since childhood when I got my first holes done in November 21st of 2021. So exactly four months ago today, I got my cartilage slash helix done. We're just gonna call it a cartilage in this video. I got it done at Sadu Body Modifications in Charlotte, North Carolina. I really liked it there. The whole experience was great. I'll put it up in the cards if you wanna like watch that video first. Either way, the first thing that I wanna touch on is just like the pain slash the healing process because I know that's like the, one of the first questions that everyone wants to know. The actual pain of getting it done wasn't super bad. Like I didn't even flinch. It's a little bit of like a pinchy kind of feeling, but it's not terrible. Then afterwards, I would have moments where it would hurt the same way it did when I got pierced. Again, nothing unbearable at all, but it would hurt and then it would be like, I didn't feel anything. So it kind of did that little pattern for, I would say the first couple days from when I got it pierced. Ever since like the first couple days, unless I do something to it, which we will talk about next, I don't feel it at all. So it's been four months, but right now sitting here, like it's, it might as well be this piercing as far as like just sitting here, I do not feel it at all, which is great. So as far as the healing process is concerned, it is supposed to take 12 months before your piercing is finally fully healed. So I have eight months to go. So this jewelry that you see is the jewelry that I got it pierced in. I eventually wanna get a little gold hoop and I will be filming that as well when I get it changed out. We'll touch more on that later, but first I'm gonna jump into cleaning really quick. So this is the solution that I use the whole time. It's the Neomed Piercing Aftercare. It's like a wound wash. So the way that I cleaned it, and you will see a very, very pathetic attempt of this in my first video, and I was just very scared because I just first got it done. But you take this off, and it is kind of an aggressive spray. So just like warning you all, but I just spray it like on the front, 
and I spray it on the back as well. And then I let it sit for a little bit and then I would like spray a Q-tip like both sides and then just kind of rub it along the side and then rub it along the back. And I would do that in the morning and then at night. So you're only supposed to have to do that for a couple weeks, like maybe a couple months. I still do this. So if I miss or something like that, I'm, it's not as big of a deal for me because you don't have to do this anymore, but I do still keep up with it. There's not a ton left. So when this is done, I will probably stop, but I just kind of will sometimes just spray it or, you know, I do keep up with it. So I, I was very good about cleaning it. Now, if you see my first video, you would have seen that I had a really hard time with this at first because I didn't have a really good concept of like where it was at and how much I would hurt it if I touched it. So I had my husband help me with it for like the first week really because I just wanted to make sure I cleaned it well and I wanted to have him check to make sure I didn't have any like piercing bumps or anything, which I never got. After that first week, I just do it myself and it's absolutely no big deal. The next thing that I wanna cover is downsizing the post. So I'll put a picture up on the screen, but in my first video, you would have seen that my post was really, really, really long. And that's like the back of the earring. And the reason that it was like that is because they have to make it really long to account for swelling. So if your ear swells, there's room on the post for it to go. So I scheduled an appointment a month after getting it done where I was supposed to go in and they were going to downsize the post. However, about a week after getting it done, it was Black Friday and I was with my mom getting like her nose pierced and I had like some other of my family members were getting piercings as well. And the people there were like talking to my cousin and I wasn't getting anything done and they looked at me and were like, you need to downsize your post. And I was like, oh, like I just got this done. So that made me scared. They were like, oh, well like you don't swell at all. Like you barely swell, like you should really downsize that. And I was like, oh, okay. So I came back, you know, I was kind of like a little bit nervous about that. And so I ended up going in at like the two week mark and they downsized it like partially. And then I went back in after a month and they downsized it again. So basically what that entails is they actually like take my earring out and then they put in like a smaller post. So this is the smallest post. That didn't hurt too bad. It was not as bad as getting it pierced. It's just like a little bit of discomfort. It's so quick though and it really isn't a big deal. After I got it downsized the first time though, I did go to my parents' house which was eight hours away. I was a little nervous because it did swell then and it was like swelling out to the post and I was Definitely worried about it that day. But other than that experience, like I really have not had any issues with like swelling or it hurting, especially hurting like too bad or anything. Like I've never felt like I had to take Tylenol or anything for it. It's, it's really not that bad. This is what it looks like now. So here's like an up close view. And then back here, I don't know if you can see like how much room is left. So yeah, as you can see, like I'm really not scared to touch it anymore. So because the post was really long and it still kind of sticks out, I want to talk about the extent of things sticking on it. So in my previous video, I had mentioned like, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like I can't wear sunglasses, I can't wear glasses. That I think was me being paranoid. That was like a two day thing and then I was fine. So the post didn't change at that point. I think I was just scared. So don't worry about that. Even if your post is long, like you can still do those things. It's okay. What a lot of people really wanted to know is about masks. And I will say the day I got it done, that was a big challenge because it was really long and I didn't know how much I could like move my ear. Like I was just kind of nervous. It does get stuck. I'm one of those people that like, when I would wear a mask, I would kind of just like rip it off and I wouldn't really think or, you know, you when there's nothing there, you just rip it off. It doesn't hurt or anything. You have to be careful. So I would like take one piece off and then kind of like hold it and you just be more careful. Or when you first get it done, you have somebody else help you. Now, when I got it downsized, it was definitely less of an issue. And this wasn't something where like, I couldn't go into stores, I couldn't wear masks or anything like that. Like I definitely could. It just was more of an inconvenience, like more of something I had to be mindful of. So just so you know, like you will have to be mindful. Like you, you can't be like ripping it all around. And that is what it is. You get used to it. It's, it's no big deal, really. Our mask mandate has like just been lifted a couple weeks ago in Charlotte and it has Honestly, like I'm just gonna be honest, it's been really nice because it's been less of a hassle, but either way, it's, it's not a make or break. Lastly, on this note, the piercer told me that I would have issues in the shower. She's like, your hair is going to get caught on it. Like it just is. And I was like thinking to myself like, oh, it'll be fine. Like I'll keep it away. No, honestly, in the shower, your hair is going to get caught in it. For a while, it was pretty bothersome. Again, once you get it downsized after that month, it is 
so much easier like everything is so much easier but even still like when I do my hair when I put it up it just being down like I have long hair but either way like your hair is probably going to touch it it just it sticks out like more than your other earrings do and like my hair still does get caught early on it getting caught can hurt it I've definitely pulled it a couple times but it's kind of just like an ouch and like it's fine so keep that in mind it's a little bit annoying i've actually had friends tell me that like they completely let theirs close just because it was annoying for me it's not that bad but it was kind of funny because at first like going to the chiropractor and let's see like getting massages done and stuff i'd have to tell them like hey i just got my cartilage pierced because like when you would grab my head to like crack my neck or like you know to like massage behind my ears or something you just you have to be mindful next we are talking about the thing that i was the most concerned about by far i'm not even joking and that is sleeping we all know sleep is very important and when i heard that it was 12 months till it healed i was just like what are you doing savannah like i was so worried that what if i got this done and then literally for 12 months i couldn't sleep like i was so 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 concerned so in the first video you saw me show my piercing pillow which i said was my bff and honestly it is this is the best. I'm not one of those people that can just, oh, I'm just gonna sleep on my right side. It doesn't happen. I said in my first video when I had done like the first night of sleep that I had slept horribly and I did. That first night I was very scared that myself or my husband were going to like whack my ear and like really hurt it. And I was also just really worried because I'm used to just like flipping back and forth and I'm like, how in my sleep am I not gonna just lay on this piercing? It is an adjustment period. It does take a little bit of time, but you do get used to it. And I would just like roll over and have it there. Sometimes I would even sleep with it like between my arms so that when I rolled, it was like easier to find because it is small and it sometimes does just get lost. But it's really great because I've traveled with this. Obviously it's little, it's really easy to travel with. And it really, really, really helps because you can sleep on both sides. You just like lay it right on top of your pillow or if you want, you can just lay it right on. But I like a little more padding than this. So it's been really great for me for those purposes. Now, this is not advised, but I'm just going to be completely honest here. I was really, really good about this for probably the first two months, but I definitely do sleep on my ear now. I still try with this and I, most of every night I use this, but there are definitely times where I'm too sleepy and I don't realize and I'm sleeping on this ear. And the reason that that happens is because it doesn't hurt. And this is what I want you to hear. I was so worried that for 12 months it was going to hurt so bad. The piercer told me that after about six months, I would be able to like sleep on it and it wouldn't hurt. But she said, don't do that because then it won't heal properly. So in me saying this, what I'm telling you, because this is what I wanted to know, is that you can sleep on it and it doesn't hurt. Okay, so like that, that is like, that was like the best news to me. It's been four months. I would say that was probably the case after about like two and a half where it was like, I can do this. Now, sometimes you feel it, sometimes it's a little bit irritated, but it's not like, oh, or anything like that. You're not supposed to. So I, I definitely need to try to get better about using this because at that 12 month mark, I want to put in a little cute hoop and I'll be upset if it's not fully healed because I was stupid. I will link this pillow in the description box below in case you're interested in getting one. I just got this on Etsy, but there's like other ones everywhere else you can get too. So the last thing that I wanna cover in this video is the question, do I regret it? And honestly, I can say like, no, there's not a bit of me that regrets it at all. I love it. I love, you know, sparkly, shiny little things. And it's just like a little something extra. It makes me happy when I see it. Like it makes me smile. It's something just like fun and edgy that I did in a time where we couldn't do a whole lot. So it's just like that little bit of extra like sparkle and glam. Like I just, I love it. I really do. And the little bit of like pain and inconvenience was a hundred percent worth it. On that note, if there's anything that I missed or anything that you still have questions about, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment box below and I will go ahead and answer that. I also do plan on doing that one year update video when I change this out. So if there's any questions, like any big ones, I can address them then for sure. As a reminder, go check out Ana Luisa. They have absolutely beautiful pieces that are great for stacking and layering and just being elegant and dainty and sustainable and all of that jazz. So I have a link in the description box below that you can go check out. Right now there is a 20% off for March Madness. So it's a perfect time to check them out and stock up on everything. Thank you all for watching and supporting my videos. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.